My name is Paula K. Brown. My husband, um, he goes by Tony. His first name is William. But my husband and I have been married for about 26 years. Um, he has always been a fantastic husband, fantastic father. Um, but around 2006, we started noticing some changes. It got to the point where we couldn't deny that something was really, really wrong. We got him to a doctor in 2015 and found out that he had um, early onset dementia. But at this point, he was in his um, he was in his 50s, but these problems had been going on since his his 40s. Um, so at no point it, it, did it occur to us that he could have dementia. I mean, 40 year old people do not get dementia, as far as we we know. Um, we had him with another neurologist at first, and they kept doing. Uh, tests and um, nothing was really improving. We got him with Dr. Chaconis. Um, the, the approach was totally different. It was very hands-on. Um, they dealt not only with my husband, but also with my needs. Um, they, they made resources available to us so we could better understand what was going on with my husband. They sat down, took the time to explain to us. It's, it's not like we were rushed. It's not like uh, there was a 15 minute appointment and if you didn't get all of your questions answered in the 15 minutes, oh well, next time. You know, that was never the approach that they took with us. Every time we talked with them, um, they were very patient. Um, sometimes, you know, we, we laughed, sometimes we cried. Um, but but they were they were there to support us no matter what was going on no matter what stage uh, my husband was in and, and he's he's gotten more advanced now um, he plateaued for a long time and that was that was great we enjoyed that but now we're dealing with some serious issues and um, again we found them to be supportive um, they brought extra extra people in that we hadn't encountered on their staff before to talk to us. Um, but like I said, it's, it's more family oriented. They, they take care of the whole family, not just the patient. They take extraordinary care of the patient, but um, they're also supportive of the family members, which makes a huge difference for us. He, he loved sports. He, he loved football. He used to play football. He loved fishing. He, um, and that's one of the things that, that let us know that something was wrong. We lived about um, a hop, skip and a jump from the lake at, you know, at, the, at the point where we got him to a doctor. And he hadn't been fishing in, in a couple of years. He used to go fishing every time he had a, a, a break from work. I mean, if he had a Saturday and, and you know, he could spend it with his, his brother or spend it with our son at the lake, that's where, where they went. Um, we lived close to the lake and he didn't go. Um, so that was one of the things that made us, you know, kind of, you know, look at, at, at this and say, okay, something's wrong. Um, like I said, very active person. He used to coach my son's football team. Um, different things like that. But all of that changed when dementia entered our lives. It's, it's like he was more reserved. He was more reclusive. Um, he didn't go out to visit uh, friends and family like he used to. I mean, it's, it's just, it's almost like a, a complete personality change. Um, so yeah, dementia really affected us, but, but memory and movement has been a godsend in our lives. Moving into a more difficult um, season of my husband's dementia, um, I hope to continue to enjoy the support that they give. They're, like I said, they're an invaluable resource for me, for us. And um, I know I'll be utilizing that more and more. I need to go and um, delve into some of the videos that they have in their library of resources. Um, because they do have a tremendous uh, amount of resources. Plus, I used to try mm -hmm. to attend their, um, their live um, take charge sessions. I haven't been able to do that because of, of COVID, obviously, but I do want to look at the recorded, um, uh, recorded resources that they have because I'm going to need some, some help getting through the next chapters. I know that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that they're there, and I hope that they continue to be there for us.